Hey everyone, welcome back to Bugna Jitsu. In today's video, we're diving into a really interesting probability dynamic programming problem called New 21 Game. This problem is inspired by the card game 21, and it tests how well you understand probabilities, recursion, and optimization in dynamic programming. If you've been looking for a problem that challenges both your mathematical reasoning and your coding skills, this one is perfect. So let's break it down step by step. Alice is playing a game where she starts at zero points. At every step, she draws a number randomly between 1 and max PTS inclusive. She keeps drawing numbers until her score reaches at least K. The game then stops. The big question is, what's the probability that Alice's final score is N or less? To summarize, Alice draws numbers until she hits K or more. Each draw is equally likely between 1 and max PTS. We want to know the probability that Alice's final score is within N. This makes the problem tricky, because Alice's score can go in so many directions, and brute force simulation is not possible. That's why we need to bring in dynamic programming and clever optimizations. Let's walk through a quick example. Suppose n equals 10, k equals 1, and max pts equals 10. Alice starts at 0, and since k equals 1, she will stop after just one draw. That means her final score is guaranteed to be a number between 1 and 10. Since we are checking the probability that Alice's score is n or less, here, 10 or less, the answer is 1.0, or 100%. This small example shows how the game works. But when n, k, and max pts become very large, things get a lot more complicated, and that's where our optimized solution comes in. Now let's talk about the approach I used. At first, I started with a recursive top-down solution, where for each score I, we try all possible next moves from I plus 1 to I plus max PTS. But this quickly runs into performance issues because the branching factor is huge. So, instead, I shifted to a bottom-up dynamic programming solution. The idea is, let dp, i, represent the probability of reaching exactly i points. We initialize with dp, 0, equals 1.0 since Alice always starts at 0. Then, for each score i that is less than k, we spread its probability equally across the next max PTS positions. This way, each position accumulates the probability of being reached. Now, to avoid recalculating large sums again and again, I used a sliding window technique. This allows us to maintain the sum of probabilities for the last max points values, so each new probability can be computed in constant time. Once we have all the values, the final probability is the sum of dp, i, for all i between k and n. With this optimized approach, the time complexity is reduced to o, n, which is efficient enough even when n is very large. The space complexity is o, n, as well, though with some tweaks we can reduce it further to o, max pts, since we only need to keep track of the last window of values. The key insight in this problem is realizing that directly simulating all paths is impossible. Instead, probabilities can be built step by step using dynamic programming. Another major insight is the sliding window optimization, which cuts down unnecessary repeated calculations and makes the solution efficient enough to pass all test cases. Breaking problems into states one of the most important things about dynamic programming is learning how to break a problem down into states. A state represents the smallest subproblem whose answer contributes to the bigger solution. For example, in sequence problems it might be the length of the prefix considered, in grid problems it could be the current cell position, and in probability problems it can be the current score. Once you clearly define what a state means, the entire problem becomes much easier because every transition just describes how you move from one state to another. Thinking in terms of states and transitions is a mindset that works across almost all DP problems. Recognizing overlapping subproblems and reuse. Another powerful idea in DP is that many problems involve overlapping subproblems. That means when you try to solve a problem recursively, you end up recomputing the same subproblems again and again. This is where memoization or tabulation shines, 
Instead of solving the same thing multiple times, you store the result once and reuse it whenever needed. This not only saves time but also makes solutions scalable to much larger inputs. Whenever you face a problem that feels exponential because of recursion, ask yourself, am I recalculating the same cases? If yes, then it's a strong signal that dynamic programming can be applied. And that's it for today's breakdown of the new 21 game problem. I hope this explanation helped you not only understand the problem but also gave you a new perspective on how probability and dynamic programming can be combined. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Bugna Jutsu, and share this with your friends who are practicing dynamic programming problems. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.